Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Olympus Infinity Stylus Zoom 140. Quite a mouthful. Uh, it's a decent little point and shoot from 1998. It uses the CR123A batteries. Stubby little 3 volt guys. The door's a little stiff because everything's uh, pretty well weather sealed. It's weatherproof, not waterproof, so don't use it underwater. Uh, like most of the Olympus cameras, this slider is the power switch. has a 38 to 140 millimeter lens. Uh, its widest at uh, wide, 38 millimeter, is f4. At maximum telephoto, 140, lens, 140 millimeters. Uh, it's f11. It's 10 elements in 8 groups. You have to be careful when you power it on. Don't block the flash because it always pops up. If that happens, you have to close the clamshell. You want to close it a little bit so you don't slam into the lens. And then start over and then it'll fire back up. Just don't block the flash. Flash modes, it has automatic where it determines if it needs the flash and fires it. Red eye that does the little pre-flash to contract the pupils off for like if you're in a museum or something. Fill, where it always fires, great for backlit stuff uh, during the day. Night scene that does a slow shutter speed and a flash. And then the last mode combines three of them. It's red eye night scene. So it does the pre-flash, slow shutter, and the flash. Close focus is 60 centimeters when it's set to wide, about two feet and then it's 90 centimeters when it's set to 140 zoomed all the way. Uses this little almost joystick rocker on top to control the zoom. Anyway, 90 centimeters is about three feet. If you hit the flash and the self timer buttons at the same time, it sets it to spot auto exposure. Um, that's really handy because there's not a lot of corrections you can do um, in fact, there are none to what the camera thinks is the right exposure. Um, at wide, it goes from EV2 f4 at 4 seconds to EV16 f12.8 at 1 400th of a second. And wide goes from, or tele rather, goes from EV5 uh, f11 at 4 seconds to uh, EV17, F22.9 at 125th of a second. So your total range on this guy is F4 to F22.9 with a shutter range of four seconds to 1 400th of a second. The self timer uh, is 12 seconds. It reads DX encoded film. Let me shut this guy down real quick. Uh, from 50, and it's the catch by the strap, opens the back. Sorry, from 50 to 3200. If you use non DX encoded film, it always sets it to a hundredth. It's a little weird. Uh, you load in the right side from the photographer's point of view, stretch the leader across here. Uh, it's marked in here. Just leave the leader at the right place, have it reasonably flat, close it, and it automatically loads it to the first frame automatically advances and automatically rewinds. On the bottom over here by the uh, tripod socket is a tiny little button. You can use a ballpoint or something like that if for whatever reason you had to uh, rewind mid-roll. The flash working range on this guy when you're set to wide it's 0.6 meters uh, about 2 feet to 6.4 meters 20 something feet and at Tele, it's 0.9 meters, which is about 3 feet, to 2.3 meters, and that's at ISO 100. Um, has a diopter, which is really nice because I have to wear glasses sometimes now. A couple of indicators here, a shake warning and your flash charge warning. And that is about it. There's framing lines in the viewfinder and at the right and at the top um, for when you're at those close ranges it shows you how it's going to crop it since the viewfinder is offset from the lens a little bit. 
that is about it. This is a quartz date version. I never ever use that, but uh, these two little buttons set whether it's going to imprint and then the date and time format, things like that. Um, you know, digital was just coming into its own in 1998. Uh, you, a normal human being could barely afford a really crummy camera. So the computerization was going into, uh, you know, the camera bodies and the zoom controls. Everybody was uh, coming out with longer and longer zooms. And film was faster and faster with less grain, so that's where people put their efforts. Um, you know, it's only 20 years ago, so it's not a bad camera for that uh, era. As long as you work within the constraints, you know, you only got f4, it's a pretty good point and shoot. My test roll was uh, some expired in 1997 uh, Fuji film, ISO 400. 400 is recommended because of the f4 lens. They came out okay. I may try and run uh, a roll of uh, black and white through here just to see what I get, and I'll see you then.